Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a foundation review and 11 hour wear test. And the foundation that I'm using is from Guerlain. This is brand new. It is the Natural Glow 16 hour wear foundation. I knew when I saw this that I wanted it for two reasons. A, it's natural glow, <laughs> not a matte foundation. And then B, the shape of it. Like, how it sits, I, I don't know. It just it just makes me happy. It just looks fun and fancy at the same time. I, the, the smallest little things will make me happy, you guys. You have no idea. This is not currently available in the US, so I had to order it off of Selfridges.com. So I'm gonna leave that link down below and I have no idea when this is coming, but I just couldn't wait. I absolutely just had to try this out. So I'm going to give you guys the details about it. I will show you guys me applying it and then I'm going to show you the 11 hour wear test. This is the fifth time I am wearing this foundation and I will give you guys my thoughts on it at the end. So let me go on to this Selfridges website. It retails for $48 and you're getting the standard one ounce 30 milliliters of product. And the shade that I picked up is 02N, which would be a neutral undertone. Selfridges says, we're all about the no makeup makeup look, but that flawless finish without even trying is hard to come by. Or so we thought, leave it to a Guerlain to perfect the formula with the La Essential Shell Natural Glow Foundation, a breathable layer that balances and protects from pollution, all with the appearance of bare skin. Might seem like an impossible feat, but just watch as it smooths out pores and builds a dewy complexion that's more like it. And then we have this, which is a whole lot to read, so I'm just going to pick out a few points and read them out to you. It's a foundation made with 97% naturally derived ingredients. The remaining 3% contribute to optimizing the formula's integrity over time and its sensorial texture. The coverage is light to medium. The formula lets the skin breathe, hydrates, balances, and protects the skin from pollution. Day after day, the complexion is more even. The appearance of imperfections is reduced. Available in 30 shades to match every skin tone. Today, I have my usuals on my pores, but then I also have on the Tatcha's silk canvas. So I have that on the perimeter of my face. During the 11 hour wear test, I did not wear a primer on the perimeter of my face so that you guys could see what it looked like. No matter what, I always use Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer and Skin Refine Zone on my pores because I, I would never wear a foundation without it. But today, I have on the silk canvas already, and now I'm applying this foundation, again, shade 02N, and I'm applying this with my Linda Hallberg sponge. One little layer of this, and I got a nice light medium coverage. I feel like it's not heavy on my skin. It covers what I need to cover. It smooths everything out, and when you zoom in, you can see it has a really nice not dewy, but not satin. It's like right in between. So it's not going to make my skin look greasy, but it's also not matte. But now we know that I always go in and I finish everything off with powder. So after I've powdered my skin, you can see that it looks just a little bit more matte and just flawless, smooth. It is so pretty and it works really well with all of the products that I use on a daily basis. I'm gonna go ahead and get into the 11 hour wear test and I'm starting off at three hours because I was also filming another video at this point. So at three hours, again, no primer on the perimeter of my face. Everything is extremely smooth. It looks more like a matte finish with the powder on top. Natural looking, it doesn't feel dry or anything like that. And it doesn't look heavy. Now, moving on to the six hour mark, still extremely smooth. My pores look great, but I'm starting to get a little bit shiny on my chin, but it's also looking a little bit more natural as well. So it's starting to look a little bit more of a satin matte than just matte, which I prefer. So at six hours is ideal. Like I think it looks so good. At 11 hours, overall, we're still looking good. It's still hanging on. Nothing is separating off of my face, but I am more shiny on my chin. And now I'm also shiny on my nose. 
My smile lines are a little bit evident of wear around my nostrils and upper lip as well. This didn't happen with my other foundations that I've recently reviewed and loved. So that's one negative is that I did get a little, just a little bit signs of wear right around here and my upper lip was just it's not bad again it's 11 hours but still it's a 16 hour wear foundation i don't think it was going to move but you can see that yeah, it's a little unhappy around my mouth when testing out this foundation i think it looks beautiful without a primer underneath it as you can see in the wear test but i think it performs even better with a primer underneath it. I really liked my By Terry Brightening CC Serum. This makes it look even more luminous, but this one right here makes it last even better around the mouth. So at 11 hours, I didn't have that wear right here or around my nostrils when I was using this primer. So I know today while I'm wearing this and I'm out, I'm not gonna have to worry about it. So I think it's great without the primer. I don't think you need one, but if you wanted it, to last 16 hours, which I, I really do think it would, then I would suggest something underneath to just kind of help it out a little bit. But overall, I'm really happy with this. I do, it does have a slight fragrance. Hold on. It's light. It doesn't, it's not strong. You know, like at Dior and whatnot, they're really strongly fragranced. This is not that strong. It's almost just kind of pleasant, and I like the way it feels on my skin all day long. And sometimes foundations, you can wear them and they feel like you just want to claw it off your skin. I don't feel that way with this at all. I can see myself putting this in with my daily routine foundations, which currently are the Osmosis Performance Wear, <laughs> my La Mercier Flawless Lumiere Radiance Perfecting Foundation, and the Age Control Zellens. So I will definitely put this in with the rotation because I have really liked the way it's looked on my skin. I've liked the wear time and everything else. I think this foundation will work really nicely on dry skin types. I think it will work nicely on normal and combo. I don't think this is going to work on anybody that is oily. And even combo, you're going to have to be slightly careful because I did get very shiny on my nose and my chin, which are my problem areas. However, my pores did not end up looking cakey or anything like that, and it didn't sink in. So I think it did really well. My only con would be that I feel like I do need to wear a primer with it to get its true longevity out of it. But other than that, I think this is beautiful. I'm definitely going to continue to wear it. And I'm excited for this to come to the States. If I find out after this video, I will leave it down below any information I find out. But you guys let me know what you think about it, what you think about it on my skin. Do you like it? Do you not? And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.